chase now. Well, hello, my audacious friends. Welcome to this vlog where I show you what's in my gym bag. I promised you guys I would do this vlog after my shoulder training vlog that I just put out. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the positive feedback on that vlog. And it was a little different. I didn't do voiceovers with that vlog. I instead decided to just do in the moment feedback and um, cues for that shoulder video. And you guys seem to really love it. So I think I'm going to start doing more workout videos like that. I want to go ahead and dig into my gym bag video because I know that is probably why you clicked on this to begin with. And I know you guys have been asking about like all the stuff. Because when I first started lifting, I didn't use all this stuff. I will be very honest with you, none of this stuff is necessary to go into the gym and put in work. I didn't used to carry all this stuff. Something happened along the way in the past two years and I've just accumulated a lot of stuff and made my gym bag an essential thing. Do you need everything in this gym bag? No. Should you have them to lift? No, but I do highly recommend everything in this bag because I use it on a weekly basis. So let's go ahead and dig into the bag itself. This is a Lululemon duffel bag. I believe this was a like weekender style duffel bag. The weekender bags typically tend to be bigger bags. Uh, they're gym bags for me don't quite cut it they're just a little smaller so if you're like me and have a bunch of stuff to take to the gym and want to accumulate a bunch of stuff over the years to take to the gym i would highly suggest getting like more of their weekender style bag because it's going to be bigger the cool thing about the weekender bag for me i think this is what it's called i really don't know i'm sorry i should i work with i work for them and i should really know what this bag is but i don't remember it i've had it for over a year so i've actually had it prior to working for them so that's probably my excuse for not knowing the name is because i didn't pay attention to those things quite nearly as much when i didn't work them uh, most of their bags have a yoga strap mat in case you guys were wondering and i don't do yoga nearly as much as i should but it does conveniently hold my squat sponge. So that is the external piece that you see here. This is for my barbell hip thrust. This is from Elevator Fitness, which I got on Amazon. I will link their, this particular one in the description box below. This is just a bar pad to go over there for my hip thrust. That is the only thing I use this for. So again, a yoga mat can be wrapped around the bar, so it's not essential, but it's helpful and I tend to like it a lot more than the yoga pad, and that's why I invested in it. It's only like $10, so it's not a huge investment. If you like doing barbell hip thrusts, I would highly suggest getting one of these. Okay. Walk and break. External pockets in this bag are incredible. I love having them. So this is my strap pocket. This is where I keep my lifting straps. These are just your traditional canvas lifting straps that loop around the bar or dumbbell, like so. You just loop them around. Um, these I got from Donuts and Deadlifts. That is a fitness brand, so yes, they are logoed, and that probably made them a little bit more expensive. I think they were like $14.99 at Arnold. Um, I just needed some lifting straps. They were there, I got them. They're no different than any other company. You can also get these on Amazon for like, I think 16, six, excuse me, $6. But again, just a traditional looped canvas strap. Again, I like the pattern because I like plaid and black and white, it's great. This reminds me I probably should wash these. Okay. My Mark Bell hip circle. So, you guys have seen me post a lot about this. I will also put this in the link, in, or a link in the description box below. This is what I use for any sort of banded work around my mid thighs that you've seen in lots of my videos. This is a size small medium and I actually had a small, an older one that was all blue. I lost it along the way and my good friend M Dunk gave me this one because she had an extra one. I did use a small, yeah, it worked great too. So I like the tighter the better 
and I use these for banded hip thrusts, banded good mornings, banded squats. I really utilize this all the time. And again, this is not a very expensive piece. So I do highly suggest getting it. I believe it's like $20, $19.99, dollars something along that price range. Great Mark Bell hip circle, small medium, great size. Moving on. Here's the grips. I decided I would get these as opposed to the canvas lifting straps prior to getting the canvas lifting straps. And I hate them. They are terrible. I have exceptionally like bony like wrists and this little knob right here. I don't know if you can kind of see, but anywho. So I have exceptionally bony wrists. This is a size small, I believe. And it still bothers that bone part of my wrist. And my hands sweat when I train, like sweat a lot. I did just sweat in general in life. Um, I have pommel and pedal hypo, ooh, pommel and pedal hyperhidrosis. Blech. Say that three times fast. But it causes my feet and my hands to sweat. Um, and that's just the nature of my life. It's always been that way. So I don't really think it's like a big deal or anything. But um, this part, when my palm is on it, it start my palm like starts to sweat because it's like I can't, it's like it can't breathe, and so then I have now have a strap to hold, but my hand is slipping from that strap to hold, so I just don't find it as effective as the canvas strap for me, nor is it as comfortable. But people love these, and I tried to love it, and I didn't, and this was a waste of money, in my opinion. Again, just for me. It was a waste of money. I don't discredit the fact that they are functionally like appropriate, but I just don't care for them nearly as much. Anywho, they're still in my gym bag because occasionally like for a dumbbell row, a heavy dumbbell row, I might dig into them, but obviously I'm not doing any heavy work right now. I'm in prep, so I'm not really trying to get no PRs on some rows. So, all right, this is my, I know this is like a Mary Poppins bag, guys. This is my stretching strap. So this is just for like stretches. Like you can loop this around the bottom of your foot, do ankle and dorsiflexion here. You can also wrap it around your leg and get some hip stretches in there. This is again, just a canvas uh, stretching strap. You can get these at any sort of place that sells yoga mats. Typically you can also wrap your yoga mat with this. Again, reminder, do yoga more. Okay, moving on terribly old, terribly disgusting, like workout lifting gloves from Nike. I mean, these are just freaking embarrassing. I mean, I don't even know if they have fingers. Certain gyms that I go to, they're, I love doing pull-ups, you guys know that. So for certain gyms that I go to, I may not find the bar that comfortable to do pull-ups. So I will put these on to protect my calluses from ripping here. Um, and that's really the only reason why I have these now. I used to think I was cool and lived with these. Other external pockets. I really don't know what's in these. Let's find out. <laughs> jewelry, cause yes, you guys know I love jewelry and um, when I get to the gym, I take all of it off. So I often just put it in one of these pockets. I was afraid I was gonna find some jewelry in here. Um, let's see, yeah, more jewelry. Okay, I was looking for those rings. Okay. All right. I have my Pulse pre-workout. Uh, this is by Legion Athletics, obviously. I am a sponsored athlete with them. This is their pre-workout that does contain caffeine and hydrous, so it is a stimulant-based pre-workout, but I do keep this in my bag for emergencies, and real friends don't let friends work out without pre-workout, apparently, because I tend to give out scoops of these to people who need them, AKA Alex. My gym journal book, you guys have all seen this if you follow my Instagram or my Snapchat, there's my book. This was my previous book. I am now probably about five workouts from completing this one. So I always keep my previous one in there just in case I need it for any specific reason. So I'm going to graduate, keep this one in there and I apparently need a new one. Okay is my Doc Spartan callus stick. So it just helps like, you know, put a little soften on your callus sticks, but mm, it smells like really like tea tree oil and eucalyptus and it does feel really good. So if I do bust my calluses 
or if they're just really giving me a hard time after my workout, I will put some of this Doc Spartan on them for the calluses. Okay. Extra hair ties because uh, people ask you, hey, do I have, can I borrow a hair tie? Well, you know, borrowing a hair tie rarely happens. It's basically, I'm giving you this because I love you and I want you to have a good workout and I don't expect you to return it. So I always keep these in there because I'm a nice gym person. This is my favorite gum. This is the Mentos Pure Spearmint. I do like spearmint things when I'm working out. I don't know, maybe spearmint focus, breathing, good breath, fresh breath. I have terrible breath because of um, all the garlic that I put on all my food. I have my trigger point therapy thing. Some people use like a lacrosse ball, but I really like this for my scalene. So it's kind of like an old, it's actually an old bicycle handle and this little wheel here. And it's really, really good for like my scalene area. Oh yeah. Next thing, these are my tourniquets. This is for BFR, blood flow restriction training. They, I have, I am down to three sets because there was like, I think seven in this pack and I gave two to Emily cause she needed them and they just go on like that. Then you clip, yeah, there we go. Okay, Amazon, $3.99 something, $6.99 something like that. I will also link those in the description box below. But tourniquets are for BFR training. If you don't know what BFR training is, I have a whole vlog in my Audacious Athlete series about BFR and occlusion training is what it's also called. Also, Lane Norton has some great videos on BFR training and I know my friend Emily did a vlog on BFR training. So if you don't know what it is, check out those resources. But I do keep this bag in my gym bag. I do have the girl who does no kickbacks at all. Uh, does have a ankle strap for doing the kickbacks that she doesn't do. But most gyms don't actually have really comfortable ones or they're hard to find or somebody else is utilizing it because everybody does kickbacks. <laughs> and so I have one. These are my headphones. I use the Beat Studio by Dre. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so these are great for not hearing a single sound other than the beats that are in your head. I do like that about them. Um, they don't fit my head during prep right now. They fall off, they slide forward. So kind of in the market for maybe earbuds, but I hate earbuds. My ears sweat a lot and I tend to get like little sores in them from them. I just haven't had really any good luck and I just find that they fall out. There's yet to be a pair that will stay in. So comment below if you guys know of earbuds that work because these. So yeah, I like big, gaudy, obnoxious Beats by Dre headphones. Also, they're wireless. Uh, wireless is like an absolute must. I cannot be with like all that cord and stuff. Uh, deo extra deodorant because, you know, got to be clean. This is the clinical strength because we sweat like a man, and a sporty fresh scent because we sporty and we fresh. Yes. All right, now we're gonna roll into one of the things I love most about Lululemon bags is they always come with this handy dandy bag inside, typically for sweaty clothes or whatnot, but I keep my new beautiful lifting shoes in them. These are the Nike Romaleo 3s. I am obsessed with them. So they are super comfortable. I really thought they were gonna be stiff and uncomfortable and I think that's part of the feedback from traditional Olympic lifters or uh, weightlifters who use these is that they don't find them to be as stiff. But somebody who's new to lifting shoes, this was a valuable thing for me because I wasn't used to it. So the fact that these are relatively flexible for me, I like, I'm a fan. I've also never lifted in lifting shoes before. So this is my first experience and I'm very happy with them. We're gonna go ahead and cut to the footage of my very first lift in these shoes. Breaking in these for the first time. I love them. Those are pretty. They're so white. Just stay tight. Girl. 
Come on. Come on. You got, you got it. You had two more in there. How do you feel? Good. <laughs> Here's just some quick facts and tidbits for why I actually decided to go ahead and purchase some weightlifting shoes. The purpose of the weightlifting shoe is that the heel lifts help you stay more upright during the squat and prevent a valgus collapse caused by imbalance in your lower body musculature. The, they pitch you forward um, just slightly enough to where you can keep your spine in a more upright position. If you have a quad dominant squat, which I do, with a narrow stance, which I do, or have hypertrophy oriented goals, which I do. Olympic squat shoes seem to be a good fit for me and my goals at this time. If you guys happen to watch my squat footage with voiceovers from my coach, one of the key factors he wanted to um, change about my squat was the fact that I did lean forward and didn't basically go straight up and straight down into the hole of the squat. So one of the proposed benefits to using squat shoes or Olympic lifting shoes is that it allows your torso to stay in a more upright position. This over time is gonna reduce the sheer stress in the lumbar spine while also increasing the engagement of the quadricep muscles, which is supposed to be the dominant muscle of the squat itself. The whole thing. Oh. I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of leg workout footage. Sorry, it wasn't that much, but you guys got a little bit of something from it. And the last and final thing I will show you in my gym bag is my purchase that I got prior to, I think I got these at the Arnold, so they were a little bit less expensive than they are on the website, but these are the Mark Bell knee sleeves. I did get a size medium. I will say that now that I'm in prep, now that my legs are a little smaller, they're a little loose. They're not quite as tight. They're easier to get on now because of that, but I don't feel as much compression as I did um, before my prep started or like at the very beginning of my prep when my legs were still a little fuller. So I would probably, if I'm gonna continue squatting during prep, I probably would like to have a size small. I think that would be helpful. If your legs are smaller than mine, if you think they might be, go for a small. Also, in terms of leggings, I've noticed that the Luxstream fabric is the best for sliding these on. The fabric like Luan and Nulu, and let's do like AKA the Align Pant, don't work as well to get knee sleeves on. So if I'm planning on squatting, I tend to try to plan for a Luxstream fabric or a um, the new Lux fabric, which is a mixture of Nulu and Luxstream. And if you guys are unfamiliar with what I'm discussing in terms of pants or tights from Lululemon, please, please, please watch my Lululemon pants video try on. You guys will love it. You'll find out a lot of information, but what basically you want is a slicker pant. It's gonna make putting these on so much easier, or you can just squat in shorts, but I don't really like wearing shorts as much. I love them, they're great. That wraps up my what's in my gym bag video. So if you guys have any additional questions or comments about what you've seen today, please leave them in the description box below. If you found this video informative, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Chase now